Hello guys, welcome to BHDL Programming with Xilinx, VR Design Suite and Jink FPG. So, uh, we are in section 2, which is actually simulating BHDL code with test paint. We already have completed section 1 with lab session and tutorial session or lecture session. And in section 2, we have 3 lecture series. Uh, first two lectures are overview about uh, simulation, test paint, DUT and instantiation stimulus. And another lecture third is actually the lab so we are going to have the lab session on simulation of NAND gate using Vivaro simulator so uh, this is our overall uh, lecture framework and after completing this session or section you will be able to explain about simulation and create and uh, simulate the test pens for any logic circuit and uh, we will have an uh, example of design and simulation of NAND gate so you will be able to design and simulate other logic circuits or logic elements so uh, on the lecture first we have basic concept of simulation and test pins actually simulation is a uh, call is a term is like creating a virtual environment uh, replicating the real-time environment in software tool or any virtual environment so simulation provide us the uh, idea about uh, overall uh, real-time scenario so we will uh, provide real-time variables and uh, on the simulation environment then after simulation tool or software provide us the corresponding output on the inputs so simulation is like a process of verifying the functional characteristics of model at any level of abstraction and we use simulator we are going to use a Vivaro simulator. Actually, Vivaro simulator is the agile simulator which provides us the corresponding output while we assign different input logic levels or input logic values. So, simulation is highly uh, implemented for like designing, verifying, uh, design and verification of any designs or any projects or any modules or any programs. So, uh, most of the time, hardware designer actually spend. 60 to 70 percent of time on design and verification so it is quite important so uh, we call it uh, test bench for simulation source of PSDL and test bench actually includes uh, different states logic values like input logic states and corresponding output will be determined by the simulator with the help of main logic in the waveform so uh, in simulation there are main two sections one is DUT actually call is device on our test uh, this DUT uh, must be ins instantiated in the test pens actually DUT is like the uh, interfacing of simulation source with the main module or main source so it provides the main logic on the main source to simulation source so DUT is quite important we will going to see how DUT are we also call it uh, unit on our test UUT actually both are similar so how UUT or DUT works and another part of simulation test bench is instantiation stimulus actually this is the logic implementation or we, we are going or we provide different input logic values or uh, conditions on the simulation source so the simulator can provide us the what will be the output scenario while those inputs are available so instantiation stimulus, uh, stimulus uh, is the a part of uh, a combination of different input logic states or logic values with some delay statement we also have some delay like wait for 100 nanosecond this is a delay statement in bsdl so this provides zero value means zero logic level to a a port and another zero for b port and in lecture three we have lab so uh, these uh, two lectures are the basic idea about simulation and in lecture uh, 3 we have uh, designing and simulating NAND gate in BSDL with Vivaro simulator so uh, while talking about designing NAND gate actually NAND is very simple gates we already uh, already have designed other basic logic gates so we, ju so we just included NAND gate in this part so uh, we can uh, even include other different uh, combination of gates or other different logic circuits so uh, other are also similar on the uh, sense of design methodology. So let's go to the main source of NAND gate. So this is the main source means actually where we implement our NAND logic. So it, this source have library 
and it have entity including a b in input and zero in output standard logic and in architecture we have zero less than equals to a, a nand b this is the uh, logic implementation nand logic implementation in the source uh other are quite similar for other logic gates also so we have nand on here so this is the main source so we need to have different test bench source for this main source so we have another source also so this is the first source and this is the simulation source sorry uh in simulation source we call this test bench uh this is like similar as the previous one main source which includes first of all libraries and it will it also have entity but entity is like blank entity uh, or uh, embedded entity uh, and third part is architecture as usual in architecture we have quite uh, different like this is the logic of uh, structural design uh, we will talk about structural design uh, in later session in uh, section uh, five so previously we just need to have some basic idea about structural design actually we call component of previous NAND gate so we have NAND gate component with a b is zero in uh, zero in input and output logic and component at end it and another thing we need to know about is signal actually signal uh, is also another important uh, uh, like definition of any variables actually signal provides us any uh, connection or wire between any ports like signal holds the temporary value until the value is transferred to any port input or output port so signal just carry on those values so uh, we have signal a standard logic in standard logic data type with starting value of zero this actually uh, represents the starting values uh, colon equals to zero apostrophe zero apostrophe semicolon determines the signal a which is actually a standard logic data type have starting value of zero b is also have zero and these two are uh, represented for inputs while signal can be used for input or output but it doesn't have any orientation on the definition there is no orientation as in ports so signal are just the uh, like a bi-directional uh, or uh, like a no directional wires connection wires like jumpers so it just provide a connection or interface so we have output uh, type of signal uh, or, or we have another signal which is uh, targeted for output so we are going to use this z signal for output so which doesn't have any starting value so it is just a standard logic so this is uh, just a component section and single definition section in architecture and architecture has been begin here and after that we need to have uh, like port mapping this is also called as uh, uh, a port mapping uh, in structural design and in uh, in this port mapping we need to have like a uh, map this uh, simulation test bench source with the main source so uh, we have some signals a b z in this source so a b z of this source need to be mapped uh, with the main source means main source is actually the top module so we can see here uet is just a user defined name colon this is actually label label means uh, we just uh, represent uh, this block is a unique label name so nand gate is the this nand gate which is actually main module port map so this part uh, this uh, left hand side uh, base port are of nand gate and this right hand side base port are of this signal uh, this top uh, uh, this simulation module so nand gate port a has been switched to signal a nand gate port b has been switched to or uh, provided uh, values are provided to signal b and z is provided to signal z because these are the ports we are uh, like holding those port value in signals while a and b have a standing uh, starting value of zero and z have no value so actually z again uh, uh, returns the values to port initial ports so we have a uh, another process actually this is also process level process name uh, process level and process as st started uh, we don't we don't have any uh, sensitivity list here we'll talk about sensitivity list in another session combination uh, or condition statement uh, in bsd so you just need to have how we write the uh, test pens and the process has already started with begin and here is the delay statement while a is zero b is zero in this condition corresponding output will be represented in waveform and another delay has been inserted and zero one 
delay one zero delay one one and finally wait means this holds the uh, simulation and this ends the simulation step and this is the end of architecture so basically there are uh, four to five things we need to know about first of all we need to have library and this is empty entity means uh, blank entity and another thing we have architecture as usual and in in uh, between architecture and begin there is component instantiation and signal instantiation or single definition then after begin we have port mapping then after we have simulation or stimulus uh, process means actually this is the stimulus uh, representation process which actually define different logic inputs to the ports or variables and those variables will be computed in uh, the waveform by using this logic so here is we have port mapping so this logic has been used so um, guys uh, this is the main two source we are going to need to design and simulation and get we also have attached this source in the attachment please download those att attachments previously so you can uh, easily uh, uh, run the process so this will be the waveform we already have uh, generated however we are going to do again in Vivado and we have also attached the IAC waveform gener uh, generated by IAC so both are similar just tool is different and uh, here are some outlines for designing and simulating NAND grid in Vivado so we need to create a Vivado project air source and insert some uh, uh, like uh, logic NAND logic there and save the design run instances and we, are, we will need to have another source of PSDL test paints and we need to like uh, have those uh, library entity architecture component signal definition UUT or port mapping then after we need to have stimulus process and then we can simulate uh, simulate the uh, design so uh, these are the steps uh, which are going to we are going to follow on the Vivado so let's go to Vivado and this is the stimulus here so after then we are going to simulate the Vivado design uh, Vivado design so guys uh, let's go to Vivado uh, so guys uh, now we are in Vivado so So let's go to create new project and uh, we are starting from new project and we will need to have main module of NAND gate and I would like to provide name of sorry this is basic NAND gate and we can even change our directory and we have this let's next and currently we, ha we have a uh, click on here so we are not going to insert source previously so do not specify source in first time so let's do next and let's select our board actually we are targeting each design for Jink FVGA so we are targeting Jirboard or Jibo but we are have Jirboard uh, currently so we are going to target each design on Jirboard so this is the basic project design outlines uh, after this uh, we are going to add a new bsdl design source uh, and insert some logic nan logic there and then after we have simulation source like go to add add a create design source and we need to actually create a design source of uh, nand nan we can say underscore bsd that will be quite easy to understand which source is which and we need to define ports as we already have defined in previous session like we need to have zero is output or you can place any names here so we are going to get a basic template here uh, actually we are not going to uh, write uh, the main uh, simulation script line by line so uh, we are talk about the simulation source so you need to copy that source uh, from the attachment then it will be more easier to understand what is happening there so we already have uh, edited our NAND gate here so we have inserted our NAND logic so we need to um, synthesize the design but uh, this is not necessary currently so we can have another source of uh, I'm going to have a simulation source let's do next let's create a file of NAND sim sorry 
I would like to say nano underscore TV actually TV stands for test bench which in, which have uh, we need to have like blank uh, blank uh, template if we want to write from scratch but uh, this is our main test bench source we are not going to write the thing actually but uh, let's see what happens we need to have component here and we need to have signal and we need to have port mapping here and we need to have simulation stimulus here so these are the more main four sections but uh, i would like to copy this source from uh, the attachment so please download those attachment which is uh, uh, inserted with uh, the uh, video so we have inserted the attachments here so as we talked previously we need to have first of library default in, uh, entity and then we, we need to have architecture and component section actually this component section uh, calls the entity of main module which is actually nan underscore bsd and actually we need to rename this mm. uh, if you add both the source at a time so you don't need to edit anything because those sources are good but what happens here is I would like to show you. Okay, or we can edit here. This is also good. And get and get and we need to have and get. So let's save this design. Then after uh, we need to save this also. This is actually ready. So this simulation source previously have two source now merge into one so we can see the ut actually ut is the main module source called by the simulation source so this is actually simulation source which actually called the main main module source so we are talking about this source uh, in previous session so we have component section we have signal three signals and we have architecture begin here and ut which is actually port mapping then after we have stimulus instantiation so we have different logic values of ports for NAND gate. Actually, this is from two table of NAND gate 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. This is four different logic states of input of NAND gate. So we are going to see the output of these four logic states uh, in the waveform. So guys, uh, let's uh, go to run simulation and click on run behavioral simulation. It will do all the necessary steps. Uh, However, we can have synthesis previously, but I just click on run simulation, which actually uh, did the job. So we don't need to get the uh, like issue. So let's uh, wait some seconds, might be some minutes. It depends upon your PC and then it will launch the simulation waveform here. So we can see the simulation waveform. So previously, actually, I, I see design suite have different sub tools or sub programs which actually calls from main program but we have, have everything in on module so it doesn't call other thing it just have everything necessary for designing optimizing and like uh, implementing design on fpga so you don't need to do anything just you need to sit on vivado and you can do everything so let's go to uh, zoom fit and we can see here currently we have input of zero zero output with one actually we are implementing NAND gate so 0 0 ending is 0 and NAND is 1 and 0 1 is 0 again 1 1 0 is 0 and is 0 and NAND is 1 and 1 1 is again 0 so this is the uh, main logic of uh, implementation of NAND gate in Vivado so you might be uh, have some confusion on how to write this simulation source but we'll talk this uh, simulation source writing in later session also so you don't need to have some uh, like uh, problem in writing simulation source so guys you can see the simulation uh, away from here so this is the actually simulation which represents the real time scenario here with inputs and corresponding output have been shown in waveform uh, so guys thank you for watching and we'll continue in another section uh, third uh, and meet you in there thank you